Okay, this is a 1940 Packard 110 convertible coupe. Coupe because it has a full back seat in it. This is uh, a driver car. We can go to New York, we can go to Miami, anywhere you want right now. It's set up to go on a highway. It drives like a dream. And it's a resto mod, meaning restored mod. And I keep the interior and the exterior as original as I possibly can. Uh, the front wheel disc brakes, rear drum, has a 350 Chevy engine with 350 horsepower. Uh, overdrive transmission, 700R transmission with a lockout converter. Uh, gives us good mileage on a highway where we're driving anywhere we want to go. Uh, this car has been uh, saved from becoming chopped up to become a, a street hot rod. I found this car 15 years ago up in Detroit where they built these cars. And uh, I was able to get some body parts from Texas to make sure that uh, I could restore it back to its original condition. Okay, this is an all steel car. This is original, built from the Packet factory in Detroit. This is the exact color combination of the paint, the top, and the interior. Everything is, I researched it, it is supposed to be certain size pleats, certain colors, and it has all been done to replicate an original automobile. The frame of this car is original, and it's built almost like steel girders in a building. Uh, these cars cost $1,400 new, and a Ford costs $600, and people say, I'd rather buy the Ford. But if you look at how much steel is in this car, it weighs almost 4,000 pounds, there's, uh, that's why people wanted to buy a well-built automobile, and this was the best one of its time. Okay, the transmission is a 700R transmission, overdrive. It has a lockout, which uh, when you're on a highway, it keeps the RPMs down so that uh, the engine isn't overworking. This car right now, you can get in it and drive anywhere in the country you want to go. That's how it is all set up.